Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Inspection 360 broadcast on the new WeldSite Remote Connect application for the OmniScan X3. My name is Brandon Wright. I'm a senior applications engineer with Olympus based out of our Houston office, and I'll be your host today. The WeldSite Remote Connect feature was designed to facilitate the connection between the OmniScan and a PC with WeldSite. So this uh, provides the advanced inspection, acquisition, and analysis for the OmniScan X3 user. What is the WeldSite software? So before we dive into the new Remote Connect feature, let's just touch on what WeldSite is and what it has to offer for the X3 user. So the WeldSite software is a successor to TomoView for the X3, advanced phase array data analysis and remote data acquisition. Specialized for weld inspection, WeldSite software contains the tools and features for ISO, API, ASNIC compliance, as well as other similar fabrication codes. Uh, includes a complete set of functionalities to support advanced phase array corrosion monitoring and mapping. So now you might ask, what does WeldSite have to offer for the X3 user? WeldSite completes the OmniScan X3 solution and fills the gap for advanced analysis and data acquisition for both corrosion and weld inspection applications. It provides flexibility, enabling customization of the user interface and the advanced analysis tools. Uh, powerful yet intuitive, providing an easy transition for any current OmniScan user. Uh, combining the X3 and WeldSite Remote Connect application, WeldSite maintains high inspection throughput and increases workflow productivity. So the WeldSite Remote Connect application on the X3 allows for a seamless connection to a PC or laptop over Ethernet. This will turn the X3 into what's commonly known as a black box, allowing complete control of the inspection throughout the WeldSite software. Let's take a look at our WeldSite Remote Connect application. So this is loaded on our OmniScan X3. This is done just like a standard MXU software update. It can be loaded via USB or downloaded from our cloud through the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna launch that application and that's gonna pull us into our Remote Connect utility. So this is gonna give us some basic information on connection status, our IP address, and start and stop acquisition. But essentially at this point, our OmniScan will be set aside and disregarded, and we will load our WeldSite software. So if the software is already open, we simply click the system utility icon on the bottom right corner, we'll select connect, and then we'll see a visible green check mark on the right hand side showing that that OmniScan is connected. Uh, if the WeldSite software is not open and the WeldSite utility is launched first, once WeldSite loads, it'll automatically connect and you're ready to start your data acquisition. Now that we've seen how the remote connection between the X3 and WeldSite works, let's look at some of the benefits WeldSite offers for data acquisition. Uh, so we only have limited time today, so we're only gonna touch on the surface of some of the advanced features within WeldSite, but be sure to check out some of the other videos available either on our website or YouTube channel for a more in-depth view on all these features. So here we can see our user interface for WeldSite. WeldSite actually runs Beam Tool uh, within the background as the scan plan or advanced law calculator. So we set up our probes, wedges, focal laws, our part geometry, as well as even our calibration block within Beam Tool. Uh, we can see our piece here. We're running two A32 probes and a set of Toft. Uh, we also have our calibration block loaded. So we can import or uh, configure our Beam Tool file either within WeldSite or within uh, ES Beam Tool on its own. Open up the file, select Load All, and then we can see our three groups up here, 9270 and our Toft. So one of the neat features on WeldSite is having the ability to customize displays. Uh, you can tailor the display to your inspection, to your personal needs or wants, right? So you can see I split these views select our Layouts tab, and we can simply drag and drop any display we like, and we can also drag and drop them between each other. So once you customize your displays the way you like, you have the abilities to save that display, you can update the defaults, and every time you open WeldSite, you have those customized displays. I'll pop back over here. I'm gonna to toggle to our calibration piece. So you can see by selecting our overlay on the bottom of the screen, we now can uh, visualize our side or holes within our cow block. 
Let me slide those. And that just gives you a quick visualization on is our wedge delay good? Are all our parameters correct within our wedge and our focal laws and all of that? So we can see we're actually falling right in within the holes without any uh, delay calibration. So moving to the calibration tab on the top side of the screen, we'll click our probe check. So we got our probe, wedge check, uh, wedge delay, sensitivity A, M, TCG, and your velocity. So within our calibration and our probe check, we can verify we don't have any active pulsers, inactive elements, anything like that. Same within our wedge check. That'll check our wedge to the uh, default parameters from beam tool, and that'll verify our wedge height, angle, and that everything is correct within the uh, set specifications that we provide. So I'm gonna slide over to our TCG tab. One nice thing about the TCG calibration within WeldSight is it allows us to do multiple TCG points simultaneously. So instead of configuring each one individually, you can almost cut the time down to a third by running this cow all together. So I've got the right hand side, I've set to a three point TCG. I'll select prepare to calibrate. And all we have to do is fill in the envelope on the S scan on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Once we get that filled in, I'm going to adjust those gates you can see so they cover our reflectors. And we have like we can take a uh, drag over from the bottom. This will allow us to crop out some of this and tell the software, hey, don't add any gain to this specific point. So this kind of area is out of our range. If we try to calibrate that, it's really going to blow out of our screen and it's completely out of our area of interest. So let's crop that out and select calibrate TCG points. And we'll run it across and verify our cal. So single swipe over, all three C TCG points calibrated simultaneously. You can also visualize that crop there at the end. So once we're happy with our calibrations, uh, we're only gonna run a single probe in this specific demonstration. Uh, but we can also even export the TCGs, copy them to the other group, or copy the whole calibration from one probe to the other. Please slide over to the inspection tab. In our motion settings here, we'll specify our scan type. Whether we're doing just a single line scan running down the length of the weld or doing a full raster scan, we can select that there. Import all of our encoder parameters, our scan parameters, and we are ready to start our inspection. Here I'm going to show you the data acquisition process for a zero degree corrosion inspection. We'll select the play button to start our inspection, and then we'll start the scan on our Olympus Map Rover scanner. In this demonstration, we're utilizing the REX1 dual linear array corrosion probe to perform a raster scan on our mock-up pipe with simulated internal wall loss. To complete the scan, we'll select the stop icon to save the file to our desired file name and location. And once saved, we'll default to our analysis mode where you can see the corrosion manager on the right-hand side of the screen. We can zoom in on our data. We can utilize our snap to peak function, which will actually respect the zoom or the cursor position. So if we wanna look at a specific area here, we can snap and it'll snap to that lowest point. And on the bottom right hand side, you'll see our cluster analysis sizing tool. So we can enter our minimum wall thickness that we want to report on and select run. And this will automatically detect all those areas that meet that criteria. As you can see boxed in on each indication. And then if we open up our flaw table here, we can select each indication verifying that they are indeed uh, relevant indications or you know, run through and just verify our results. We also have the ability to select multiple indications, whether we want to delete those from the table, maybe merge those to a single indication as well. On our current data points on the right-hand side, we, we can also select areas based on cursors and either highlight uh, and erase 
or edit those points. So maybe we have a loss of data in that area and we go out and verify it with a thickness gauge or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, once we're happy with our results, we've went through our data in our indication table and verify those are relevant indications. We can go to the bottom right hand side of that corrosion manager where we can either export the C-scan, which will save that C-scan as a CSV file with the color palette all intact, and then we can import that into uh, like an asset management software, or we can go ahead and generate our report and complete that inspection. WeldSite doesn't just offer great analysis tools and features for weld and corrosion applications. When talking specifically to remote connection to the X3, increased workflow productivity is at the top of my list. Having the ability to perform acquisition, advanced analysis, and reporting all within one place instead of collecting data on the X3, later transferring it to a PC for analysis is a significant time saver. WeldSite also has the ability to run multiple windows simultaneously, allowing the user to perform acquisition in one window while analyzing another scan in a separate window. So now that we're wrapped up with the presentation, let's move into our live Q&A session. All right, so we had a couple questions come through during the presentation. Um, one of them being, will Remote Connect work on the 1664X3? And the answer is yes. So Remote Connect will work on any model, any current model of the OmniScan X3. Let's see if we've got any more questions that are going to come in. Yep, and one more. So the difference between Omni PC and WeldSite. So Omni PC 5, currently for the X3, is a free piece of software. Uh, it is just a basic analysis software for weld and corrosion, where WeldSite is a uh, paid license, but it is the advanced analysis software. So it has the ability to merge files, stitch files, uh, like you saw the multi-point TCG and other advanced tools. Um, and as well as the Remote Connect Omni PC purely analysis, where WeldSite is analysis along with data acquisition for the X3 and Focus PX. So uh, it looks like uh, there are, well, we'll give it just a couple more minutes to see if any other questions pop up. Well, it looks like there are no, oh, sorry, we've got one that just came through. Uh, so, no, the Remote Connect does not require the Olympus Cloud. It's done uh, locally through Ethernet connection. All right, so it looks like there are no other questions. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today and taking your time. Uh, if you do have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to myself or your local Olympus sales rep, as well as reach us on our website at olympus-ims.com. Have a great day.